Hi everyone, I am Arun Ayer. I am a consultant ENT surgeon based in University Hospital Monklands in Lanarkshire. I, along with my colleagues, May Anesa and Nick Calder, have developed a technique to reduce aerosol formation when performing flexible endoscopic examination of the nose and larynx. This uses resources that is already available in the hospital. So I'll show you what the things you need. You need a closed anesthetic face mask, which comes in various sizes to fit the patient properly. You need a filter, which is again readily available in the hospital and elbow shaped attachment with an opening for a suction. And you can pass the endoscope through this. If you do not have an elbow shaped attachment, then you can use a T piece attachment and just close one end with the finger from a glove and make a small opening and you can pass the scope again through that. In order to hold the mask in place, the best uh, method is to use a CPAP mask holder. And again, this is available in most of the hospitals. But if you do not have a, a CPAP mask holder, then you can substitute using a linen tape uh, which is used again in the anesthetic department for holding the endotracheal tube in place. I will now show you how this is done on a simulation model. You have to wear first full PPE before you do this and uh, make sure that uh, uh, there is uh, everyone around you is also protected. For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to use them because I don't want to waste the existing PPE. So this is the simulation model and you can see the, the uh, attachment that we made, which is a face mask, which is upside down so that the opening is right in front of the nose. And uh, to that, I've attached a T piece, I mean elbow attachment with an opening for the suction and a filter that we use in the anesthetic machines. All these things are available in the hospital and uh, this is a harness that we use for CPAP uh, masks that is also available in most of the hospitals. So the procedure is done where you prep the scope, make sure that you are uh, donning the full PPE and then once you're ready, the patient's nose is sprayed with local anesthetics in order to reduce the chance of sneezing and coughing and uh, then open this attachment and immediately put the scope in and then gradually pass the scope into the area near the nose and then since it is a straight line it goes in and then gently advance the scope and examine that area i can see the nasopharynx now and then passing the scope beyond the nasopharynx and i can see the whole of the larynx very clearly and uh, you are able to manipulate the scope just like you would in a normal situation and once the scope is done gently withdraw the scope and uh, when it is about to come out of the uh, the, the tube, make sure that you're going to put this back immediately. And that is the end of the procedure. Thank you very much.